Hello guys, welcome back. Welcome back to a new part of C++ tutorial. In this episode, we will discuss about how to use if else if statement in C++. So by using a simple if statement, you can only check only one condition at a time. So if you want to check more than one condition, at the same time, you can use if else if instead of a simple if loop. So in this example, I'm going to demonstrate how to find out largest of three numbers using if else if statement. So here I declare three numbers, three variables a, b and c. Ask for the first number c out, enter, first number, save the number into first variable a. Now ask for the second number, enter second number. and save the number into variable b. Okay. Now ask for this third number. Enter third number. And save it into variable c. Okay. Now start it start the if else if loop with an if statement. So if the value of a greater than b and using an operator called AND operator and value of A greater than C. In this case, A is the large number. So, C out. A is the large number. Okay. Now, start. We have to check the under condition. So, here I am going to use else if statement. Else if. So make sure that an else if statement is always using with an if loop. An else if can use only after an if loop. So here I am going to check the second condition if uh, b greater than a and b greater than c. Okay. In this case, uh, b is the large number. So b is the large number. Now we have to check check it for the third number called C. So again use an else if, else if C greater than A and C greater than B. In this case C is the large number. So here C is the large number. Okay. C is the large number. Okay, now we can use an else if if any of these condition is not satisfying. If if the if loop is satisfying, then all the else if corresponding to that if is avoided from execution. Or if if is not satisfying, or if is found to be false one, then it will check for the second else if. If it is found to be a true one, then execute this statement. At the at the same time, all the corresponding else if statements are. Uh, skip from execution. If none of these if or else if are found to be true, then an else corresponding to the statement, this statement executes. So here is an else loop, else. Uh, there is a chance of all the numbers are same. So uh, C out. All the numbers are All the numbers are same. Okay. Now I save it. I'm going to run it. So run it. Ask for the first number. I just provide 8 as first number. Enter second number. I enter 6. Enter third number. Enter 3. Okay. 8 is the large number. Now again run it. Enter first number 7, enter second number 9, enter third number is 2, 3. In this case, second number, that means 9 is the large number, 9 is the large number. Okay. Uh, again, run it. Now provide the third number as large. So 1, second number 2, and third number 3. Okay, 3 is the large number. Now I'm going to provide all the numbers are same. So first number is 3, second number is again 3. That number against 3. Here all the numbers are same. 
Guys, this is how we using an if else if loop in C++. Thank you for watching. See you in the next part of this tutorial.